even though we knew that part of my birth plan was to have um, an epidural and to be medicated and to have a traditional hospital birth, um, I really wanted to make sure that we had somebody that knew us in the room the whole time. So I think my birth process would have been um, a lot more anxiety ridden um, had we not had a birth doula. I was diagnosed with gestational hypertension and so as we got closer to our due date, um, health complications started arising more frequently and we had to go in for triage twice and I ended up being induced um, and ultimately it was a fine birth process. But having somebody um, check in on us throughout all of those kind of, you know, not scares, but um, intermediate processes before we got to the final birth, we were able to talk about, okay, so this is what this means. This is what you can expect. These are the questions you should probably ask your doctor if they're not giving you that information yet. Um, so I felt like I was able to navigate all of those kind of like bumps and turns and every pregnancy has something like not, there's no perfect pregnancy. So being able to have just like that one extra person in your corner that is like a trusted confidant and source of knowledge was so helpful. I was I had the same thought of like, who are these people? Why do we, I thought we have doctors and nurses. Why do we need another one? And I'm so glad you looked it up and that they were allowed at Swedish because uh, that definitely made it a much better experience for me. She got to know me. And so while everybody was focused on my Katie, my wife, and her needs and the baby, Katie the doula, noticed that I was shrinking into my shell kind of in the corner getting out of the way. And she was very good at Nolan. Why don't you come back over here? And why don't you hold this? Or why don't you stroke? Like she was very good at re-engaging me while everybody else in the room went, cool, he's out of the way. So I really appreciated that. And I felt like I was part of the process because of a doula. I was worried about um, postpartum depression um, for her and for both of us. And I know that there was a six week appointment, but there's a lot that can happen in six weeks. And I was really worried about being not alone, but having to diagnose each other that I've never gone through this, but you seem worse than I would expect a parent right now. And I didn't like that. So I was really nervous. I had done a lot of research and what Katie the doula um, really helped with was she had a seven day, eight day check-in with us. And so that was really nice to know that, okay, we're gonna go through this, then we're gonna get a week on our own and then someone's gonna check in with us. And that's really nice. And again, we've already built up this relationship. Everyone kept saying, oh, but you have a pediatrician who you'll see, but I don't know her. I don't know him. I don't have a trust to say, I feel this because I just met them. But Katie the doula, we'd had three hours of conversation before and then 18 hours with her during the birth. So I felt like she's already seen us in the birth. I can say I'm crying every day or whatever it was. So that was something I was really anxious about was postpartum and the fact that she checked in quickly really put me at ease. I would recommend having a doula um, for anybody who, um, and frankly, just for anybody. It's been um, such a wonderful enhancement to the birth process and experience. It was almost like having kind of an expert on call that seemed like it was just for you. Like we never felt afraid to reach out um, and ask silly questions that se or seemed silly to us. It was so positive that I can't imagine it being negative. So I think that there are no what ifs. Oh, what what if we had done this differently? There were no going back over and kicking myself for this decision and pushing Katie and we yelled at each other or whatever happened. Um, not that we'd yell at each other, but <laughs> maybe. So I think the positive was just like our wedding of like, there were no surprises. There was no shoot, we should have done something differently. Yeah.